Joining us today from Geneva, Switzerland, is Mien Glauser, with more details on a fun cooking lesson. Thank you, Mien. Hi, Giancarlo. So, cooking can be perceived by some as a simple chore and only a source of sustenance. But for others, it can also actually bring a lot of benefits, such as achieving personal satisfaction, providing sensory pleasure, and especially a way to express oneself and be creative. That's exactly why, despite the pandemic, members of the Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ in the countries of Belgium, France, Monaco, and Switzerland very much enjoyed an activity where they got to share their love for cooking by sharing tips on how to cook and decorate crepes. Crepe is a thinner version of a pancake. It's a very, very popular dessert or snack in many European countries. During the activity, the participants had to make crepes by following a recipe taught live. Through the interaction between the lead cook and the other participants through video conferencing and family members at home, there was a lot of laughter and fun all throughout. But that's not it. The activity was even more made exciting because after making the crepes, the participant had a few minutes to also show their talent in decorating them with their personal ingredients and creative touch as a friendly competition. Let's take a look at some of the event's highlights. We had a lot of fun during this activity. It was educational because we got to learn how to cook crepe, but also entertaining because we got to be a bit creative and also watch the brethren work on their own creative skills. By attending and participating in church activities, we as parents get to teach our children the value of our membership inside the Church of Christ. Our faith and unity get strengthened as a family, but also as brothers and sisters in the faith. I'm just really happy to see that the, the youth in our district are genuinely happy when they participate and even organize these activities. That says a lot about the continued success of the Church of Christ in this part of the world and around the world. At the end of the activity, all the crepes were exposed to judges who determined the three best looking crepes. Not only did the participants learn a new dish together in a fun way, they also showed that distance and the pandemic are not obstacles to their unity and faith. Back to you in the studio. Thank you so much. Um, how did the attendees have to prepare to join this virtual cooking lesson? Well, Giancarlo, all of them were informed beforehand to prepare the ingredients needed with the exact quantity required so they can easily follow the one leading them. Back to you in the studio. Thank you so much. That uh, sure looked like an entertaining family activity. And thank you for reporting for us again, and especially thank you to EBC Switzerland. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm Anne Glauser, reporting from the Geneva Switzerland Bureau, and we live in interesting times. <laughs>